the ancient Indonesian martial art of Pinsak Silat is making its Asian Games debut this year. It's one of several sports during the two weeks of competitions that is unique to Asia and one that few outside the region have ever seen before. But the coach for the Malaysian team is confident that's changing and being an event in the games will help. This is the first time Pensac Silat is in the Asian Games. I'm proud and I hope it will continue to be a tournament sport in Asia. It may be someday be in the Olympics. There are thousands of Pensac Silat clubs across Indonesia. The head of this local one here in Jakarta feels that the sports exposure in the Asia Games grows recognition and interest globally. Deidi Purbaya also says that the sport is expanding in its country of origin too. It's now mandatory at all schools. With the games in Indonesia, Pensak Silat has become even more popular among children, teenagers and adults. It really helps. Kabaddi started in India thousands of years ago. It's essentially a game of full contact tag. It was feeling nice when Indonesian and other countries, Asian countries are taking part into that because earlier I haven't seen any Indonesian player playing Kabaddi. So that was our more keen to see this kind of sport playing by these Indonesian countries or other foreign countries. Unlike the homegrown Pensak Silat, Kabaddi is just starting to gain ground in Indonesia. To improve this Kabaddi in Indonesia, they should uh, spread the game throughout Indonesia and in every school, college they go. The Asian Games allow these lesser-known sports the opportunity to share center stage with widely popular sports like football or basketball, giving athletes of all ages the opportunity to experience something new, either from the sidelines or on the pitch. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.